Hi, <laughs> and welcome to Maths Appeal. A puzzle shared is a, a puzzle. puzzle. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm Bobby Seagull, and I'm Susan Okereke. So while you're inside at home, we'd love to share how fun maths puzzles can be with you on our new YouTube channel. <laughs> um, our maths appeal mission is to make maths accessible to everyone. It's something that we feel really strongly about as maths teachers. And we, our aim is to show that maths not only is fun, but it's literally everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> so every Tuesday and Thursday, we post a video of a maths puzzle and our solutions. And we'd love to share your solutions too. Okay, so why are we doing this, Bobby? What's the whole point? Susan, because we know as teachers that people, our school children, and even our friends or adults find problem solving difficult. And we want to demystify you. We want to share strategies and approaches to tackling problems and puzzles so that to show that everyone can do it everyone's got the potential to be good at maths everyone can do maths <laughs> and if you love social media we love social media uh, on team maths appeal we're on twitter instagram and obviously here on youtube at maths appeal yes indeed right so what we do, um, what we do is we set a puzzle. So there's a puzzle that we set in our last video uh, on YouTube. You can check that out if you didn't see it before. And what we do is we go through the solutions and we share what other what our viewers have done in solutions, and then we set another one. So can you remind us of the puzzle that we set in our last video, Bobby? So this puzzle was called Jungle Election or Jungle Election Fever. <laughs> Jungle election, I think. Jungle election, okay, jungle election. So, three animals stood for election as king of the jungle. That's why I've got my yellow lion shirt. But, oh. not lions here, the leopard... Hello? The, ...wins twice as many votes as the zebra. The zebra wins twice as many votes as the polar bear. 56,000 animals voted for one of their three candidates. Right. So How many voted for the leopard? Gonna, for the, sorry, um, but they voted for, so it was 56,000 animals voted for all of the, the animals, right? Yes, yeah. for all of them. Okay, right. And so how many voted for the? So, yeah, the leopard, that's the actual the puzzle. Leopard. That was the puzzle. So, sorry, yeah. So, just the key, so key facts again, so just to remind us um, that We've got the leopard had twice as many as the zebra. The zebra had twice as many as the polar bear. And yeah. all together, it was yeah. 56,000 votes. That's and right. we want to know how many the leopard got. Exactly. Right. Okay. So let's think about this. So shall I, write, shall I do my solution first? Yeah, I'll show you your solution. So it was a weird one because we weren't told any numbers. We just knew the sort of spaces of them. So how... Well, also, Bobby, just before we go into this, can you tell us something about what you won recently? Oh, OK. I won a trapezium-based prism. And you're thinking, why is Bobby talking about a trapezium... <laughs> I won actually something, a trapezium-based prism that looks like a triangular-based prism. So, tra OK. And, and so this was because what you voted for... Or was it because you were the celebrity king of mastermind. the mastermind? Yeah, so I won Celebrity Mastermind on Saturday on BBC One. And although actually my topic was England at World Cups, I had a, a minute and a half discussion with the presenter about maths and why everyone should be able to do maths. Actually, it's all about the maths appeal mission, which I got onto BBC One, essentially. There you go. Yeah. It's, to prove, look, it is a, a, a trapezium-based prism. Look, it's been it's not a wedge. It looks like a wedge from far, but it's not. We should probably get. We should try and get John Humphrey to do some of our puzzles, Bobby. I think that should be the next thing. That is the next. That is the next step. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. So I thought I just as we were talking about like winners, I thought, hey, let's get this guy in, right? There you go. Well done. Well done. Okay. So to the solution. To the solution. 
So the way I thought about it was we've got our leopard plus the votes of our leopard plus the votes of our zebra plus the votes of our polar bear equal 56,000. So that's the first thing I was thinking. Uh, yeah. Nice. So then it was like we were told that our leopard has, uh, sorry, we told our polar bear has one set, our zebra has twice the set of the polar bear, and then the leopard has twice the set of the um, zebra. Yep. So in yeah. total, so that's like effectively a ratio four to two to one, or one to two to four, whatever order you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. And so all of this together, so all of our boxes, all of our ratio is equal to 56,000. And yeah, so that's right. the number of parts there are, there are seven parts. So that's seven parts of our ratio. And so each of these, as I like to do the parts as boxes, so each of these boxes is 56,000 divided by seven, which is 8,000. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to put like, so 8,000 goes into, so just making a point here. So 8,000 goes into each box. Yeah. So effectively the number for a leopard, which is four boxes. So a leopard is 8,000 times four, which is 32,000. That's nice. how I did it. Yeah. I love your. I love the way you always do visual. Um, I love a setup. box, Bobby. I love the box. I love the box. Because my instinct <laughs> is, I want to learn to train myself to do what you do. Because I think yours is easier to explain to people. I always go straight for the algebra. I like, like it. Go on, tell me what you do. So I just went and said, if I can, my 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 board is huge <laughs> <laughs> compared to my tiny board. I've got envy. I've got envy, Bobby. <laughs> okay, so I I initially said. Uh, the polar bear is X. Okay, right, yep. Yeah, and then I said, therefore, the zebra is 2X. Nice, yep. And then I said, therefore, the leopard is 4X, it's double. So yeah. I just went and said, I've set up straight away as a set of... Uh, Algebra yeah. Equations. And then I summed them all up. Polar bear plus... Zebra plus leopard. It's like almost like column addition. Nice. Is 7x. Nice. Cool. And we also know that this equals 56,000. Yeah. And then I followed your method afterwards. Yeah. So just the initial it's setup fine. was... I, again, I'm going to try and learn more about your method. I, I love that. Oh, we can, we can share. Like, so obviously, I love the algebra, but I kind of get quite into boxes. I'm hap happily show you, Bobby, happily. Yes. Um, so we got what's wicked about this is we've got loads and loads of people kind of getting involved. So we've got some shout outs for people who shared their solutions. First of all, big shout out to Burger Breaks and James Keith. And they gave us the right answer on Twitter. And then people who share their solutions, which I'll be... Sh Putting uh, photo, we'll, be, we'll be putting photos up on Instagram and on Twitter. It's Snafu999. Uh, lovely images with typed answers. Delightful. Wow. There was also Red Wine Redneck. Interesting. Great solution on Twitter as well. Uh, we had Doc Ed and Professor Jeremy. They did a great Twitter solution, but also they had an extension question, which was how will uh, the vote allocation change if the leopard was to eat the zebra? Crazy. Oh. <laughs> it's a little bit dark, I think. Yeah. Um, but for me, massive, massive shout out to Harry Aged Eight and Mum Claire McKeehan, I think is how you pronounce it. And they said, so Harry Aged Eight did an amazing... Um, kind of solution which not too dissimilar to your one actually Bobby they kind of entered I think mum helped a little bit with that so that's yeah. kind of some great stuff uh, and it's really great to see it'd be a, a rec we recommend that you go and have a look at how different people have set out their working because the whole point is to show that there's a variety of ways of doing stuff even though you kind of come out to the same answer so yeah well thank you everyone for getting involved that's I and mean, we would love more we'd love more and if yeah. anyone sent us videos of it Almost in the Ooh. video, we're doing the solution. That'd be brilliant. We'd share that too. We'd put that on our uh, on our social media. So it's time for our puzzle for today. 
So Susan, oh. what is our puzzle? Right, so our next one, so this is about um, special types of numbers. I'm a real fan of that, that numbers. I like kind of, I love patterns. And so this one uh, is about prime numbers and square numbers, okay? But you might want to, if you can't remember what they are, it's something you might want to kind of look into before you tackle the, the puzzle. So I'm thinking, <clears throat> I'm thinking of a two-digit prime number. When this two-digit prime number is reversed, it is still a two-digit prime number, okay? The difference between these two two-digit prime numbers, reversed, okay, is a positive square number. What two numbers am I thinking of? You expect us to be mind readers, Susan. I'm expecting you to use the clues that I've given you to work it out, Bobby. So what, what, what are the key clues? Apart from right. if I was a mind reader, I'd work it out straight away. <laughs> but because I'm not, I need some clues. You're a maths detective. So I'm thinking of two, a two-digit prime... Sorry. I'm thinking of two two-digit prime numbers. Okay? okay? When the digit is reversed, the digits are reversed, it, uh, it is still a two-digit prime number. Okay? okay? So think of a two-digit prime number. Reverse it is also a two-digit prime number. Okay? The difference between these two two-digit prime numbers is a square number. What two-digit, uh, what two numbers am I thinking of? So this sounds like this requires a bit of maybe trial and error, possibly. Potentially, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So it's not like it just here's a formula, here you go. You just have to think and maybe like a little bit of brute force. There we go. So look, look forward to seeing what their solutions are. So yeah. if you are feeling brave. As many people were shouted out by Susan, send us your solutions as a picture, tweet, Instagram, or really brave video of you yes. thinking through it. So we're at Maths Appeal on Twitter and on Instagram. And please, please, please share and subscribe this video because our aim is to try and help everyone see that they can do maths puzzles. So... <laughs> I should normally remember what I meant to say, but you've been watching Maths Appeal with me, Bobby Seagull, and Susan Okureke. And remember, a puzzle shirt <laughs> but it is a puzzle, a puzzle enjoy. enjoy.